I don't even know what to say. What's up, YouTube? This is Big Mallow. I'm here to tell you that the poles are the best man-at-arm tower rush sieve. Let's check out the build order. All right, let's welcome to the build. I'm gonna start off, build your two houses, go to sheep. I'm gonna go standard six on sheep, as you do with all builds. Make sure you're scouting. Use your sheep if you can. After you get six on food, you're gonna send four to wood. Like all man at arms builds. Except for like Japanese, of course. Keep going. Once you get four on wood, you're gonna to wanna to go get your first boar. Preferably the one that's forward. So you don't get lamed. Then build a house. Next build is gonna go, it's gonna build this fall wark. Gonna send another build to berry so you have three on berries. Next you're gonna do is pick up the second boar. There you go, send one more so you have four on berries. Your next build is gonna build a barracks. Next two builds are gonna go on to your boar until you have 10 total. Split that five and five on the sheep. This guy can come back and hang out. With your last two builds, once you get to 20 pop, you want the last two to go to stone, not gold. That's the only difference, right? From a typical man at arm build. <laughs> Stay four on wood. Get loom, click up. Now, let these two sheep finish first. There you go. Now send two to stone. Make sure you're scouting, like me. Look at me go. Hawk champ. You got four here. Now grab four more. Or did it? Yeah. And build a second lumber camp. Efficient, chat. Let me tell you. You got to build a house on the way up, or the rest of your house. Make sure you're queuing militia. I'm a little late here, but that's fine. You should have like at least one already, two even. Build a house so you don't get housed. Finish up these sheep. Now take four of these bills and go forward with all the militia you have. Make three, send them forward. Look at me. Should have a second one coming. That should actually be the third, but it's fine. Now send this boy over here. You're gonna wanna use the stalwart bonus here because it's really tight on food in order to get double bit axe and get men at arms. So you will drop two farms on this fall wark, full wark, fork, fork, pitchfork center. Anyways, so as you'll see, I'm going forward. I really need those. I have enough right now. I have one bill cube. I, I sh should have this already, but it's a little late. You do kind of want to drop two farms already. As you can see, I'm getting men at arms. I'm getting double bit axe. Pog. I dropped these two farms, and by the time this bill finishes, these should drop off enough food in order for me to create another build. I'm a little behind, as I said, but that's fine. So boom. Now you can even drop another farm. Just keep sending these bills to berries until you get about three or four farms. And then boom. If you look on this side, and then and then it's just standard, right? Build farms, only farms, and houses, and not not. Now we come, we've got man at arms. You can actually even add in a man at arms once you get a couple more food. Drop tower. And then a babushki. Look at that. Double bit axe. Man at arms. 22 pop. And a forward tower. And as you can tell, once I drop this first tower, I still got 300 stone. I've got 84 gold. I can drop another tower, or two more towers easily. And there you go. That is the build. Uh, one more thing to note is um, once you're forward and the pressure is at the enemy's base, what you can do is you can take some of these bills in uh, long distance this deer. It's a lot of free food, and as long as the action's this way, you're good. You don't want to build two, like four or five is the max I would build around the fall work, and then I would start building around your TC because the counter to forward towers is actually being... Um, counter-attacked so but if you have four here you should be able to wall this in from scouts you should be able to wall this in from scouts you should be able to wall this in from scouts walls walls just do small resource walls and then once you get about four farms around the full work 
start building around the TC, and then slowly start a housing, more farms, walling, get a blacksmith, you can get fletching, you can get attack upgrade, depending if you still got men at arms. Lots of options from here. And as all tower rushes, it's sloppy, so figure it out as you go. I think the poles really might be the best tower rush sieve. Uh, when you get free gold from doing stone, uh, you got vills that re-heal themselves over time. So once your forward vills start getting hurt, you just hide for a little bit. And the re-full vills, right? Uh, that makes that much more valuable on a forward. Uh, just, you don't have to go to gold. And then you save up stone, you get to castle age fast. And you can drop a castle instantly. You can even go into a boom. As long as you keep that pressure heavily in feudal age, you should be good to go.